Hi, now we are going to one of the most important portion of the entire paper, which is the conclusion part. So I'm going to teach you exactly how, what is the right method and the right format to answer. So stay tuned, watch and pick up the skills, okay? Okay, we have come to the last portion, which is to deduce the identity of salt Z form in A. So for the cation and for the anion in Z, justify your deduction using evidence from B or C. Well, salt Z is, well, I can immediately say that the anion first. Why? Because I have the anion here because carbon dioxide is produced. You saw effervescent. But some of you will be saying that, but Ms. Alina, why is it that every time effervescent is produced in part C, um, the chance of the Lime water is very minimum. Well, yes, but you can see that it's very obvious at the moment you add acid, effervescent is produced. So I am still going to go with it and say justification of anion CO3 2 minus. So this part I will say carbonate and justification. Carbonate is present, P R E S E N C E, okay, in Z in part C when H2SO4 was added, gas evolved, gave a white PPT in lime water. Okay, now, so what on earth is my Z now? My Z is none other than iron. And why do I say that? Because over here, in part C, this portion, I saw a green PPT was present, Fe2+. plus. So, and that is Z. So, I'm going to write iron 2. Be careful, make sure you write down the Roman numbering over here. Justifications for cat ion. Iron 2 is present in salt Z. In part C, when... NaOH was added, a green PPT was observed, and green PPT do not dissolve in excess of NaOH. Voila! Full two marks. Very well done. Let's see the last part over here. Okay, let me bring this behind. The last part over here. Okay, describe and explain one change observed in the color of the precipitate in A. Well, I can see that in A, let's go back to A. A over here, we can see. Now, if you see a closer look over here, the side here, you saw that is yellow. Can you see? Okay, so I'm going to write down, all right? Let me put this down on my table and then color change, okay? The green PPT has changed to a yellowish brown precipitate. Explanation, Fe2 plus is the green PPT when exposed to air oxidation is taking place and thus changed it to Fe3 plus full stop okay let's move on to the last part we are almost done okay to the finish Line. Describe and explain one difference in the observation other than color changes you make when aqueous sodium hydroxide was added in B, part 2, and in C. Now, in C, we see Fe2+. And let's go back and take a tour back, okay, to B, part 2. Over here, B, part 2, this portion here... I can see that this portion over here, B part 2, all right? So, this B part 2 over here, uh, we are gently heating it, okay? And causing the Fe2 plus to change to become brown PPT. So, I can say the difference. B part 2 is iron 2 forming to become iron 3 hydroxide okay because of the heating 
of the mixture in B part 2, iron 2 has been oxidized to iron 3. Oh, okay, the explanation is supposed to be here, sorry. So I shouldn't write it over at this part here. I should write it here. So let me do a quick change, cancel. Okay, explanation. Iron 2 is changed in B part 2 to iron 3 because of the heating that is... Taking place, that is taking place. While in part C, okay, the PPT is still iron 2, okay, because uh, it is due to oxidation taking place in the air. So it will take a longer, sorry, a longer time. Okay, pardon this part, okay? I'm going to do some uh, shifting here so that you all can see very clearly, okay? Now, uh, the difference in B part 2 is iron 2 forming, okay, uh, to become iron, okay, let me change this okay so sorry i'm not going to redo this ex uh this this uh video because uh i want to show that there's a chance that you will make such a mistake like me in exam so if it's an exam i will do this okay i will draw a line and write down over at this part b part two is iron two forming to iron three plus the brown color while in C it's still a green PPT okay so this is the part the difference the explanation is here okay so in exam I know that it look a little bit un uh, messy and untidy but because time is running up I want to show you that it's possible to finish within this timing so this is the explanation okay now, the last portion is always uh, part D, which is your justification, finding evidence. And by now, by the look of the color, I'm sure all of you know that, hey, I know, I know the cat ion. So, follow the instruction. Always write down which part because they ask you for evidence. Argue it like a lawyer. Let them know where on earth you know because at this part, I saw that. At this part, when I add this, I saw this. So write it down, make it plain so that your examiner know how you get the answer. Okay?